Well, good morning. I had a little bit of a rain delay out there. Can't do the normal walk and talk video. So I decided to do it in my work truck, also known as my ambulance. And uh, so you can see some of the stuff here, old trash cans and things, hauling stuff around and whatever else. But um, got to thinking about this this morning, woke up and early and I was praying and, and whatever, Lord started putting some things into my mind and I thought, you know, I'd, I'd like to make a video about this. Um, how I'm going to do my patriotic duty and not vote. Let me explain. Okay, please open your mind here. Think about what I'm saying. What would happen? How would it look? Say it that way. If a tyrannical system came in intent on destroying America, what would that look like? Um, let's just say that they would keep the election process going, but they wouldn't actually give you a real choice. Would it be a patriotic thing to go along with their deception? Or would it be patriotic to say, no, thank you. I'm not going to have part in that deception. I think you know the answer if you care about this nation at all. And uh, the fact is, I heard yesterday a statistic which kind of shocked me a little bit, and that is that uh, 100 million, right around 100 million Americans do not vote. Well, that's almost one in three. Americans don't vote. They don't partake in this process of the dog and pony show that's put on. Um, hey, we are going to give you this uh, choice between the lesser of two evils. Um, well, then you're still picking evil. Okay, A bad guy comes here and he pulls into the driveway here at the office and, and he has a gun and a knife and he says, okay, it's your choice. I can either shoot you or I can stab you. Um, it's not a patriotic thing or, or even wise or rational for me to sit here and say, let me think, what would hurt more, a gun or a knife? Well, see, if he shot me good, then I could die right away, but the, the knife thing, no. I say, neither option is acceptable to me. You are on my property. You are here trying to violate my rights. Therefore, I'm going to come up with a third option, and that is get off my property or there's going to be a problem. Okay, in other words, I can't rely on that guy, whoever he is, to help me into the future or something because he's a threat to my future. I have to say, full stop, neither of your options is acceptable. Well, you know what? There's a tyrannical organization right now that is dest destroying America by design. They're shutting down food processing. They're eliminating uh, fuel refineries and things all throughout the, the pandemic years. Um, fuel refineries were being shut down, food uh, being shut down. I don't know how many restaurants were closed through the, you know, the scamdemic years and whatever else. Um, the economy is being shut down on purpose. Um, we're involved in, in wars, foreign affairs, that, and entanglements and things that we cannot win. And it's just a perpetual draining of the American finances. Uh, the politicians are just spending what is it, $1 trillion every 100 days right now is about the rate. It's probably increasing. Um, it's a bad situation. And all that we're being given as a choice is a liberal city boy from New York um, who pretends to be a conservative, and he's a speech reader, and he did all kinds of evil things back in his administration the first time. Um, we're give, being given that, or Kamala Harris. A woman that tries to use the, the color of her skin to get elected and to get people to be for her whatever she even did in the four years that she's been in as vice president. Um, you see what I'm saying? Shooting or stabbing, which one do you want? I choose neither. And uh, what would happen if all of a sudden election day comes and all the American people just go like this? And nobody shows up at the polls, or the, you know, the places to vote and whatever. Nobody shows up. And not one American citizen casts their vote. And they say, what's going on? We demand a good leader. We demand good government. We will no longer take part in your little show thing that you put on. Uh, would that be patriotic to do that? Yes, it would. Um, and here's my point. What do we need to do? Not just as Christians, but as Americans out there. You're an atheist or Roman Catholic, whatever you are. 
doesn't matter. If you love this country and you love freedom and liberty, the Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Okay? Um, real true Christians don't take liberty and freedom from other people. Keep that in mind. Um, organized religion takes people's freedoms and liberties. Uh, real true Bible-believing Christians don't. But um, what should we do? Well, we need to each declare our independence. I am declaring my independence through not voting. Through saying, you're not giving me a choice. Shooting or stabbing is not a choice. I don't care which one would be less painful. No, it's not a choice for me. Trump, Harris is not a choice. It's uh, Either one's bad. Okay, So I'm not picking either one. No thank you. Count me out. My independence is going to have to, I'm going to have to form this over time. And I'm going to have to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to have to be independent from big chain stores like Walmart and some of the others like that. Um, try to support the local economy. Get away from globalism. Bring things into the local economy. Um, try to get away from the grocery stores. I mean, grocery stores. I, you know, 90, probably 90, 95% of the stuff in a grocery store I wouldn't even buy. You know, I walk along the outside of the perimeter of the grocery store on the inside. You go over to the fresh produce area, back to the meat area, over to the dairy area, and down and back to the cash register and pay. Uh, all the stuff that's in the middle, the junk food and everything else, most of that stuff, well, all junk food I avoid, but, you know, you might get some spices or some pasta or some spaghetti sauce or something like that, marinara sauce or whatever, that's fine. But what I'm saying is I avoid the vast majority of the grocery stores. So, oh, well, we'll the government will keep all that stuff going. They'll keep the, the infrastructure going, critical infrastructure, so we can have the roads and we can have all the trucks delivering the food and everything else. Um, actually, a lot of these trucks, these grocery store trucks, are delivering toxic waste, okay, industrial waste. They have... You know, corn production for ethanol, and they take the some of the you know different types of corn there, and they refine it down into a sugar, high fructose corn syrup, and um, very toxic for your body. It spikes your insulin levels and whatever else, and they put it in everything at the grocery stores. Well, then start to go to places where they don't put things in like that. Find farms in the area. Uh, we've done that for many years now. Find a farm that has eggs for sale. Find a farm that has beef for sale, that has raw milk for sale, that has whatever. Um, that's what we need to start doing as Americans. Um, we need to start to support local people, um, declare our independence from the government. Um, and let's go even more radical than that, and that is I think we should start to find businesses and people that will deal not just in cash but also in precious metals. I remember seeing there was a guy on Craigslist and he had a four-wheeler for sale, ATV. And it was, this is the price if you pay with check, this is the price if you pay with cash, and this is the price if you pay with silver, pre-1964 and older silver coins. Dimes, quarters, halves, dollars. You know, and it was a cheap price, a really good price. That's smart. Come up with ways to do things like that. I know that there was a gas station in America someplace where the guy was saying you can buy, you know, gas for, you know, 25 cents a gallon or something like that if you're paying with silver quarters and um, that's smart that's very smart Americans need to innovate and come up with things because the what they're putting in to positions of authority in the White House they no longer represent us they haven't represented us in a very long time okay um, you know and it's it's disgusting to see I mean we had to go do some grocery shopping yesterday and we needed to get some meat because we're getting low and things on, on the meat that we normally have. And we were buying meat that's, you know, getting a little bit old and you get the dollar, two dollars, three dollars off or whatever else. And our bill was three hundred and forty nine dollars. Just regular stuff. We weren't going and getting shrimp or lobster or anything special or just regular food. We had to get a bunch of it because we you know, like I said, we're getting a little bit low, but three hundred and fifty dollars essentially. That's insanity. Absolutely crazy. And I'm going through that and I mean we're debt free so it's not a huge deal we can it's not that we're having a hard time making ends meet or anything but you know and, and I get online and there's an advertisement comes up with Donald Trump on it friends if you care about your freedom we need to we need you to donate to the to us what we're doing here to our campaign and I'm thinking yeah some billionaire you know running 
for this, you know, an acting position as president and, um, you know, a much better act, I guess, than some of his other shows that he's been on, you know, reality shows and whatever else. Um, and, and he wants me to send him money. You know, we're not barely making it or anything, but, you know, it's that's an ex expensive. I used to balk at paying $200 for groceries for a big, you know, thing of groceries. $350? crazy and I'm supposed to give money to somebody that's not even going to fix the problems in America so um, I could keep rambling on here for a while but uh, need to get in and actually get some work done in there I have a bunch of things to do today with this vehicle be driving it around and everything but um, you know think outside the box become independent you know that's what this vehicle is by the way thinking outside of the box um, we needed to do a big trip road trip years ago 4,000 miles and I could have bought a motorhome um, but motorhomes aren't built very well they build them to be very lightweight and whatever else these ambulances can roll over and be fine and uh, it was just you know the three of us so my wife my son and and uh, myself and so we, I built a bed frame for the back there, put a mattress in. We were able to sleep in here and had food and all kinds of other stuff, just like a little miniature motorhome. 7.3 turbo diesel in this thing. It's a older Ford, 1999 Ford E450. Um, pretty fast considering its size. And we were pulling up a trailer, enclosed trailer behind it for 4,000 miles. And... Um, See, what's that have to do with this whole thing of not voting? Um, thinking outside of the box. Don't do what the vast majority of people do. Um, get independent. Think for yourself. Okay? So that's going to be it. And um, I hope I've challenged you to uh, consider what it means to not vote as a patriot. And just simply to say, no, sorry. Um, shooting or stabbing? No, it's okay. We need a third option. I'm not going to take part in your tyrannical uh, scam that you're pulling. Please think about it.